we are uh, learn about how we can open what subtract half screen model uh, using ionic capacitor so uh, you already seen that uh, introduction video uh, how it is working in android and ios so let's uh, get started in uh, how we can achieve that kind of uh, half screen model so if you see that in, in home page we added one image and one icon of uh, camera uh, when we click on that it's open one page as a model controller and we are giving three options uh, like uh, remove photo gallery and camera so uh, let's see uh, how we design that page and what kind of css we need to do in this page and uh, that model page as well so let's start with this uh, home page first so in home page uh, i did some css uh, here and we are displaying that uh, avatar image as a uh, background image inside a div and we take one camera icon and we fit uh, with some position to bottom right side of this image so it's look at that and when we click on that uh, icon it's open one controller model controller yeah so here this is our function and we are opening one model there so if i have to open that kind of transparent model uh, we need to write two css for that uh, first one i write um, inside a global dot as css so here is a css transparent model that was a class we given and uh, we pick that model wrapper class from the model and we give it to background opacity 0 0.7 and uh, the color whatever you want to give that so it's uh, now we have to use that class here when we open the model so here we define the component and here we define the css class transfer model that was the class name that is matching here so, so that's the one thing we need to do and after that i open that model model present so it's look like that now we need to understand that uh, that model component it's got profile photo option component is there so what kind of css and what kind of html we have to do it's here so we yeah, are in uh, starting with html so here if you see we are not putting any content inside a ion content we are adding uh, that uh, title and buttons inside a ion footer just keep ion content as a blank and i'm putting uh, uh, everything here these three options here and i have written some set of css for that as well so here we need to give ion content background as a transparent so that's why here you can see that uh, gray color look it's it's of ion content and here we give this opacity so it's look like a transparent and uh, inside of footer our color and uh, our option is coming there and i had written some sort of css for that as well so that's fine and uh, we write one click event inside a ion content so when we click here in the black area uh, it's getting closed so we had one function for that it's a model dismiss and yeah inside a model dismiss there is a two argument first one is a data and second one is a role uh, role is like uh, you are doing cancel you are max selection so that kind of role we are giving there so here i give the add row so when we click here and click in the black area so here you can see that uh, data coming null and role is backdrop inside home page.ts file 
that means we don't have to do nothing we have to do nothing because we are clicking here so simply close that button that's it but if i click gallery or camera we need to do some operation like start camera start gallery so what we did for that is uh, here we uh, write function start capture photos and start capture camera so that argument is passing to the ps and it function is calling from here and here i'm passing model control dot dismiss with type and role select that means user is do some selection so we we need to write some uh, if conditions like conditional code based on this role we are passing from here so now uh, go to the home page dot ts and here when model get dismissed at that time we are getting this response like uh, i'm clicking here so we get null and backdrop so here when we get backdrop uh, role is not a backdrop that means user did some selection so we need to call some function like uh, start camera or start gallery like that so now how we can start the gallery and how we can pick the image from the camera let's see so we are using ionic capacitor so we need to go to the capacitor site so i'm going here capacitorjs.com and here you can see explode plugin is there click on official plugin and here you can see camera yeah so make a scroll down yeah here you can see how you can do this so just copy these two lines uh, which we need to write in uh, here okay so that's two line and paste here now uh, we need to copy this function same as just copy this function and i'm removing these comments yeah so for other we missed uh, something yeah so here we taken one uh, background image uh, photo mm, this one so that photo is coming from uh, one dummy altar and uh, when user take picture from camera or gallery we need to display that picture here so we can user get to know like uh, i made some selection and uh, the changes are getting up displayed here so uh, let's come in this line now go to the here here we get the for example i'm clicking gallery so here we get the data photos and camera then we get data in camera so now we need to pass this uh, camera photo here so now i'm calling for this function from here this dot take a picture we are passing one argument res dot data that means camera or gallery we are taking one argument here time now here we need to give a source like from where you want to pick the image or take the image so in source we need to pass camera dot source dot camera photos or a prompt so uh, if you do camera camera gets started if you pass photos photos will start and if you make a prompt that means uh, that plugin is uh, asking for you for uh, selection like uh, from camera uh, you need to pick the image or uh, or gallery you want to tag the image or something so here we are passing our dynamic argument right type so from profile photo option we are passing uh, photos and camera from this html to we are passing here ts model dot this means 
we are passing type here and that data we are getting in on dismiss method of the model and we are passing that data as a type and that data is coming here camera source dot dynamic like we are we are passing dynamic properties here so we don't need to write if condition for that now whatever we are getting in image url we are storing that in our photo variable so that value uh, the data is changed uh, once user max selection from gallery or camera and our image default of that image will be replaced with uh, user selection image so yeah let's try to like i'm selecting gallery so it's a web so in web it's working like as a file explorer not like camera or gallery because uh, we don't have any uh, gallery inside of a inside of a like uh, in a web project here i'm selecting one image so you can see it's a selected there now we need to check that project inside of a real android device so we are creating the pxng mid test rod So uh, build is uh, taking some time, but not much. Just a few seconds might be. So just wait for that. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, connecting the my device, so we can see the image selection from there uh, from device. Okay, the device is connected. Just wait for this for this. Yeah, so build is uh, completed, and uh, we need to. Mac uh, my APN can copy so uh, whatever we generated will say uh, going to be copied in Android and iOS device. Yeah, now we need to write the command npx cap open Android. So it start uh, our Android Studio here. It's already started, so I don't need to run that command again. Now here my device is connected and I'm click uh, run that project so once apk is installed uh, we need to check uh, like permission as well if a user select a gallery that uh, specific gallery permission will be asked by at our uh, plugin code and uh, same as our camera. So once integration gets run on the device, we can check it out. Okay, so yeah, it's now going to be installed. Now I start my device here. So you can see that this here as well yeah so when i click this icon that model should open gallery camera same option but table we see on the web now i click on the gallery first so it's asking for the permission give it allow so gallery is open now and i'm selecting something uh this one yeah so image is uh, displayed here now i click on the camera so as per our application that permission will ask me uh yeah i'm selecting while using the application and taking one picture click on the okay yeah 
So it's working like that. Now we check it uh, backdrop option as well. I'm clicking this uh, model, clicking here. Yeah, nothing is happening. I'm clicking opening again that model. Click on the back button, hardware back button. It's also get close. Yeah, so it's working fine. Now let's check that uh, same thing for iOS as well. So now we need to write the command npm npx tab open iOS. Yeah. So for iOS, I'm uh, checking that uh, uh, I think it is emulated, not on the real device. So once Xcode is starting, uh, we can run the same project with the same feature. But we cannot run the camera inside the simulator. Uh, that's the limitation of the simulator. But definitely we can check that uh, gallery option. Yeah, that's what is meat heavy, so it's that some no time to load. Yeah, here I'm selecting a plus because it's already uh, loaded, so it's, it's running very quickly. Okay, we accept it. Now it's launching the simulator. Okay, yeah. Uh, our application is running on the simulator and we can see the same thing which we did for Android. Yeah, it's uh, running now. So Okay, now we click here, we click in this uh, iron content, which you don't have any content, yeah. so it's get closed. Now we click on the gallery, so gallery is asking for permission, allow access to all the photos, I'm giving permission for now, so we click an image with this default available uh, on the simulator. Yeah. So here uh, we cannot check the camera because uh, it's a simulator, so you will get that error. So camera is not available in simulator. Yeah, uh, that's it. Hope you like this video.